Hello James, Lux Razor, welcome back to Railway and today we're going to be looking at a, I think it's called 94 class Pioneer Tank. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get this review started then. Well then guys, um, so I was just saying, um, the reason why I haven't been posting is because I've got a new phone, um, and I'll prove that right now because I've got my old one here, like, as you can see, look. Um, I haven't tried recording this on the cinematic mode, uh, but it doesn't work if I want to like, show the locomotive off right in front of you. So I'm back on normal video right now. So enough of me rambling on. Today's locomotive is this, and it's the 94 class Pioneer Tank. And I think I only paid the same price what I did with this one as I did with the other one. Um, I mean, honestly, I have a feeling that Great Western's my second favourite type of mod, like, locomotive. Uh, I'm going to say you're flipping connected. Right, I'm just going to try and pull the history up. Um... Right, so history about the 34 class. Locomotive. That's not it. Right, I'm going to put plenty of tank in. Pan. Right, let's see what I can go with. Boom. Right, I think I just found something, guys. I'm sure it's called 94 class. I might be wrong. But I've got the history up here, right. So let me just put you somewhere where you can see the locomotive. Right then, so I'm just going to hold you here, guys. I'm going to do what I did, a bit like what I did with my Hush Hush. Um, and I'm going to keep you on here while I talk in the background about the history about this locomotive. So GWR... 57 class or 57 XS is a class of 06 O's Pioneer Tank steam, steam locomotives built by the Great Western Railway and it was between 1929 and 1950 with with 863 built. They were most profile class of the GWR and one of the most numerous classes of Britain steam locomotives. So that's quite interesting. So now that we've just done done that, um, we're gonna we're gonna take you up onto the detail table now. Then I'm gonna show you some of its details, and after that, we're gonna have like a running session. And then I'll talk to you a bit again, guys. Right then, guys. So as you can see, we're up on the detail table now. Then um, with this locomotive i am going to show you the motor as well today i know that i've kept saying that time and time again but the past models i've been reviewing they have been like really expensive models and i can't you know afford to like break some on that model and then obviously you know then that model's broken so i will be showing you the motor what's in this model so i mean like i said in one of my other videos i did technically say that this is a market model so you know, I will be using that as, um, like, so the first thing we're going to look at is the obvious. Oh, did I, did I mention which locomotive make this was? I don't think I did, did I? It's a Lima one, for those who's wondering. So, that out of the way, the first thing we're going to look at is, yet again, it hasn't got any sprung buffers, which you'd, you'd expect on a Lima model, but it's the... Uh, because Lima's like it was relatively quite cheap on how they put like how they build the models. So and then obviously you've got like a lamp on the front. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up to you actually. There you go. 
and then you've got GWR on the side, as you can see. And you've got all these wheels at the side, and you've got some steps. And you've got some like really nice pipe work detail as well. Look, if you look carefully, you've got some really nice uh, pipe work detail as well. Um, and then obviously the chimney top is just made out of plastic again. The dome is just plastic. The whistles, yeah, they're plastic as well. No glazing, unfortunately, but there is a reason why that is. Oops. And it's mainly the same again on the other side. And then obviously, if you look carefully, you've got the running number. It focuses, there we go. It says 9... Yeah, 94. So... Right then, so what I'm going to do now is show you how to take the... Um, how to take the body off to get to the motor. So obviously, you need, you're going to need the obvious, which is the flathead screwdriver. I did this with the other one, by the way, so I do know what I'm doing. And then if you look carefully, if I show you... I think it's that screw there. You have to do that screw there to get to the motor. So I'm just going to do that now. And I just felt it like release a bit of pressure onto the on the locomotive. Right. So that, there's the body off. I don't like look a bit horrified. Some people are joking. And obviously we're left with this. Just the standard Lima type motor. I think it's a ring fill motor, if I'm correct. Hey, baby. Um, but obviously, these motors are fantastic motors. I mean, I've I've had like tons of Lima locomotives in the past, and they're brilliant motors. So obviously, as you can see, the motor is here, which is obvious. And then a lot of the locomotives weight comes from this thing here. Which again, and then obviously with a, an old label one, you got pickups there going from the from in here to the wheel set, so the pick, it picks up power, and the same on the other side as well. So what I'm going to do now, then, guys, I'm going to get the body back on now that I've shown you what it looks like with without the uh, body shell on, and I'll then we're going to take up onto the layout, and then we're going to do some slow speeds with it. And then we're just going to have a running session. So I'm going to just do that now then. And I'll see you up on layout then guys. Alright, I'll talk to you a bit then guys. Right then guys, so as you can see, the plane tank is on the layout now. If you can see that. There we go. And then what we're going to do now is test its slow speeds to see what the slow speeds are like on this model. Um, from what, I'm, what I remember, they're quite good, but again, I haven't run this model in quite some time. Okay, then let me know what it works. I've got that I'll have to power on. Because I'm just cleaning the wheels up a little bit, guys. I mean, missing that pressure out of the box anyway, so that's why it didn't really matter if I cleaned it, cleaned the wheels or not. Right, I'll sort that out in a minute. Right then, I'm, I apologise for that guys. Right, so we'll just reverse the back. So that was on my behalf, not anybody else's. Right then, so, now that we're going to just try slow speeds, I'll just ease the control up there. And say that this is a lever model, look at how slow that goes. I mean, it's a bit funny, but I might give it, like, I might do what I did before with, like, all the other models. Like, give it a chance to run around a bit and then um, judge, it, like, what it's like with speed and whatnot. Because at the minute, it's kind of a mixed batch, if you know what I mean. Because look at that now. Sometimes it can go, like, really slow and it'll just cut out. So, that that'll be interesting. So, anyway... I'm going to pull these pushes back so I can actually get them back on the track properly. Right then, I think they're all on the track properly. 
No, they have. Right then, so what I've got planned to do with this model today, instead of having it pull um, a train, like, you know, going forward, it's going to pull backwards instead, which I've never, don't think I've ever done on the channel before, but if I have, let me know down the comments below. So, we'll just couple the 49XX up to the train now. And as you can see, look, the train's there, look. In fact, am I so, yeah, I am. I thought I was so zoomed in. No, oh, oh, right, no, I'm not. I zoomed out a lot quick, further now. Right then, so, all I can say is let's get this one session started then. So, there goes the tiny sign. For those but what you can go see, where's the pass. The other locomotive I'm running today is the um, GWI Railcar. And obviously that hasn't got anything behind it, so I'm gonna get her up and running. No, one way. Only got one. Go that way. There we go. And last but not least, I don't, still don't know the name of this locomotive. What's here? Um, but it's another Great Western locomotive, and it's probably two Great Western. Lo Oops. It's probably two. Great Western coaches, so even though for some reason these coaches are quite funny. If it don't work then I'll just take the coach stuff and have it run it when it's on stuff like that, so that's what I'm gonna do. Because the coach's wheels are just naff on these coaches. I mean they're nice coaches and everything, but I try to offer with better wheels as you can see but don't work. In fact we'll just let that look but it won't so low. There we go, and enjoy one session, guys. I'm gonna go and tie your tag again. It comes the um, rail car. And here comes the, uh, I can't, again, I can't think what model this is. If any of you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. And here comes the Great Western. Because honestly, God, right, I'm not going. I'm not lying. It, it's bugged me to hell that I don't even know the name of this locomotive. What's going on right now? Oh yeah, that's my be keeping out. What other Great Western mod models are on the line today? I mean, there's two in the side in there, and there's one over there, and there's one off on the third day, which I think you've seen. Cut the race and it's going to win. I'm joking. So we're, we're going to wait until we get reached like, oh, one more than there. So we'll just let them one more lap. In fact, we'll stop the B round car. We'll stop the other group left and left and And then we'll do a scars for this uh, panning tank. Right then, so detail for this model. I would definitely give that like, I would say at least a three. But don't get me wrong, there is some detail here, right, with this with this model, but it doesn't add up to, to, to today's standards, and that's where the other two doesn't come in. Um, so three out of five for uh, detail. Um, performance, I would definitely give that a five out of five, because as you saw, there was no derailing, there was no stuttering or anything like that with this model. Uh, quality, I would definitely give that at least about a three out of five. Again, I know that might sound harsh, but I'm going to show you this now. As you can, as you can see, the body comes up, and it don't feel like there's a clip or anything under under that to like secure the body. It's the same with my other one. So, um. Value for money, right? So to say that you can get the new one, I think it's either Dapple or Hornby. It's one of the two for like a hundred or quid. I got this one for twenty quid, and um, I've ever regretted it. No, because it is a nice model to have running around your layout. Um, quality, obviously quality. Yeah, I have. Um, slow speeds, which again, we, I'm just going to uncouple it and then I'm going to test slow speeds again. I know I shouldn't really do this, but 
it's only fair and plus it is my channel. I won't be nasty there, but but let's let's just launch these again, see if they've improved at all. Unsurprisingly they have. Only just by a smidge there. It's still going? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's about the same as before though guys, to be honest with you. These Lima models were no never rip well more motor sorry. We're never really good crawlers anyway, so that's that done out of the way. So let, let's just continue the running session then. So there we go, sleep on your time again. Here comes the, um, I still don't know where it's from, but it's here this way. And there comes the rail car. It's not the rail car now, uh, all six of them. <laughs> so anyway, you should try to have like a little race. I'll take, I'll take you to a different shot then, guys. Right, I'm just trying to fix this up. Sorry guys. Oh that's remind me guys. So what else I've been doing with my layout is extending it a little bit. Now I'm not gonna give any clues away but I want you guys to see if you can guess what I'm actually doing in here. Guys. Right, we'll have one more left. Oh, 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 oh. Right then guys, uh, so I'm going to flip the camera back around and then I'm going to tell you possibly what's going to come out next. Alright, I'll talk to you a bit then guys. Right then guys, uh, thank you for watching this video today. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, what possibly might be coming out next is Henry and the Black Five video, what I've always been promising about. Um, then after that, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. Um, I have got a rough idea what I want to do, but I don't really know just yet uh, because obviously, you know, Christmas is coming up, but then again, so is my birthday, so. Um, but yeah, if you guys want me, to, that's just reminding me, if you guys want me to try and get the, uh, either the Hobby or the Dapper one, one of these, then let me know down in the comments below and I will try my best to, to get one. Um... Again, I, I've still got my Hush Hush, a beautiful model, and thank you for the uh, views what I've got in that video. But because I've finally reached 325 subscribers, I'm technically on 327 now. Um, I need your guys' opinion on this. Do you want to see a Q&A video? Because I've asked and asked and asked, and people just don't seem to be getting back to me about that. So, if you guys want me to do a Q&A video, then let me know down in the comments below and I'll take it on, bo on board and I will do one. Um, like, it can be questions about my personal life or, you know, my interest in trades, what other sh different shows like, anything like that. Then, let, then just comment them down below and I will read them, obviously, and then I will put them on the... Well, whenever I decide to make that video. 
But at the end of the day, it's up to you guys if you guys want to see that. Um, I haven't really got much else to say other than thank you for watching this video today. Again, thank you for subscribing to my channel, everyone. Cause to say that we're on nearly on 330 is when we are on. I'm hoping that by, by the end of the year that I get to that milestone um, of 330 subscribers because it would mean the world to me if I did. And like I said, at the end of the day, right, th this channel will be successful if it wasn't thanks to you lot who watches my channel, who watches my videos. So you don't even have to be subscribed to my channel to watch the videos. They're just there to be watched. And, you know, if you guys take anything from my videos, like, oh, that's a good model, oh, that's a rubbish model, then fair enough. And, and that's what I want to do so for people. All right. I'm just turn my, my layout off. Um, but that's what I'm saying though. And, and if people have got any questions about, like, you know, again, I will do a Q&A video. And I have said this to death, that I want to do a Q&A video to say that I've, that I've reached 300, 325 subscribers. Well, does always overstep that. I really want to do a Q&A video. So if any of you guys have got any questions, Text me on Facebook or whatever or whatever social media platform you've got me on and just message me a question and I will do that for you. But other than that, I haven't really got much else to say. Then thank you for watching this video today. Please please subscribe to my channel. Hope, hope you have a lovely day and I guess I'll see you later everyone. And, I'll, and all I can say is take care and look after yourselves and I'll see you later everyone. Right then, I'll talk to you in a bit everyone. Bye.